もうお父様にお休みいただきましょうこれ以上は無理です落ち着きたまえエヴァたちの毒気を浴びすぎて冷静を失っただけだデトクシンあの書斎に入る鍵は2本しかないそしてその2本はここに君が持っているだから誰も入ることなどできんあの扉は特別制度彼らが倉庫からどんな工具を持ってこようともビクともせんよそういう物理的な問題ではありませんだから焦るな落ち着けなんなら君は熱を出したことにして寝込んでいてくれればいいその間に私が全て乗り切ってみせるあなただけに任せられません私も最後まで戦いますあなた。殿下の宝刀と同じだよ。抜かないうちが花だ。大事なのは、いつでも抜けるという心構えではないかね。それは分かっています。その切り札を私に預けてくれんかね。もちろん、最後の瞬間の責任は全て私が取る。君
and gaze at the windy and rainy rose garden. Not he went with Genji to a place short distance away. What is happening? Yes. Uh oh. At that moment, she was surprised by a sudden eerie sound. It was a large clock in the hall announcing midnight. Masako, Mata, Ano Otoko Nano Deska? Hi. Ika ga ita shimashu. Yokin wa nanda to itte imasu ka? お答えいただけません。奥様と直接お話ししたいとの一点張りでございます。Again, a phone call from a man who claimed to be taking revenge for what had happened 19 years ago. 19 years ago. That was just one year before Jessica and Bella were born. One year between, one year before Jessica and Bella were born. That's his eyes. The gap between 19 years ago and 18 years ago was immense. For a long time, she was unable to fulfill her role of creating a successor for the Ushigumiya family, and was treated very coldly. But then, she finally gave birth to Jessica, and became able to call herself the wife of the Ushigumiya successor with her head held high. So in her eyes, Ushiro Miyanati began 18 years ago. So everything before that, including 19 years ago, contained nothing but hateful memories. I mean, okay, I don't have like, like particular ideas over here, but this is something to take into account. Like, you know, between having sex with a man and giving birth, there's nine months to take into consideration. So, I mean, that's all I have to say for right now. Whether that is gonna, whether that detail is gonna be important for us to figure out this whole thing with the man from 19 years ago or not, that's that's something that we're gonna have to find out if the nine months period is going to be important than that or not. If not, then... I mean, can he... Can it be possible that the man from 19 years ago actually lied? I mean, if birth is not an option, and this man from 19 years ago was born before 18 years ago, before Jessica and Bella, and if it's true that Jessica was the very first person that was that was given birth by Nazi and nobody else before that, like if the narration is not lying to us, then another possibility would be that this person from 19 years ago is an adopted child of Nazi and such. Just because Natsui didn't give birth to to this man from 19 years ago. It doesn't necessarily mean that the man from 19 years ago couldn't be Natsui's child. We could be talking about adoption over here, but... Vaguely, if I'm to look back in the past, vaguely, I don't remember any detail in regards to adoptions and such, if this was ever specified and such. I honestly, I don't know. I mean, I guess there is the whole thing about... Like, like okay, if Natsui, Natsui was not able to give birth, then one could ask why didn't she just adopt somebody? And that way they would, uh, they would have that adopted person in the future become the next head of the Ushirumiya family. But I guess it depends on how the family, on how the family acts. Like maybe like a like a rich royal family from eons ago would say, "Oh well, this person cannot be the next successor of the head, like this the next successor of the family because well, 
they are strangers they are adopted they didn't come from from the womb of the woman that is tied to the family henceforth they cannot be the next head because they are adopted maybe they would go with that mentality i don't know i honestly i i couldn't tell you In the last year of that hateful period was whispering of revenge from the other end of the phone. Once again, she heard the roar of the sea. Okay, now before we uh, continue with this, uh, I remember that in one of the last parts when uh, Bella was talking to Virgilia and Virgilia was saying some red shoes, she mentioned how Beatrice's goal is not to have revenge on anyone. And then I said to myself, aha, genius idea has come to my, to my mind. Indeedy. And uh, I even read that, I even wrote that in text during the editing and such, and I was going to talk about this a little bit later, but uh, now that idea is under revision, because I, I thought that um, I thought that I had like a, a stroke of genius in the sense that that red truth would actually help me in determining that Beller is not the man from 19 years ago, that he is off the list, which would, which would make uh, Kanon and Shannon the only ones remaining over here. But... Um, It's not necessarily that I do not believe in uh, that theory anymore of what I, whatever I was thinking. It's just that I think that I'm confusing some slow, some stuff or more. I no, actually, the better description would be that I'm having like a brain fart over here. Like, like now I'm thinking, what the fuck was I thinking at that point? Like, wh how did I reach that conclusion? Like, how? Why? Who? Why? Like. Like, my brain right now is having a fart. And uh, now it's saying that it doesn't make sense. And that that red truth doesn't really help me in saying that Beller is not the man from 19 years ago. So, I, like, that thought, whatever it, it was that I was thinking of, is still under revision. Like, I, I apologize for that, folks. I, like, I'm having, like, a brain fart. Like, I don't know... Like, like, I'm still gonna have to think about it, think of it, think about it coherently, and then talk about uh, the thing that I was thinking about. Because right now, I wouldn't even be able to describe you what I was thinking. It's it's a jumbled mess, what, I, what I'm thinking right now. So, okay. Here we have uh, another call from the man from 19 years ago. I'm just gonna sit back, I'm gonna observe, and maybe something will come to mind when uh, we're, we're going to be talking to the man from 19 years ago. So, let's see. Also, I do have to note that um, um, right now, it is still external line. Like, I remember that I was talking about this uh, before, and I think I did a little bit of a mistake there. I said that when the storm hits, it will only be internal line. But that's not necessarily the truth. Like uh, we're gonna have, we're gonna be having like external lines uh, before the murders begin. So it doesn't necessarily have to be on the fourth of October and such. I mean, it can't be. I mean, who is gonna call the internal lines during the fourth of October? It is when the murders begin most of the time on fourth on fifth of October that um, that the phones are gonna be cut. So. Right now, it can still be external. However, like it, it can still be external because uh, we don't see Natsui or Genji being all "Whoa, the external lines have been cut." Then what the fuck? We we're having this to, we're having this call from the man from 19 years ago. They should be more surprised about that. But no, that's because they still think it's the external line and such. So I'm also thinking about this. What if Genji is lying about this being an external line? She he's not even gonna mention this. Like, the external lines have already been cut. It's just that Genji is not uh, telling Natsui this yet. And it's actually internal. And such. Genji does not want uh, Natsui to reach the conclusion that the man from 19 years ago is on the island right now. So, 
yeah, maybe the external lines have already been cut, but Natsui does not know that. But then again, it, it kind of makes me think of how uh, it is being said over here that they are going to transfer the call, which would make me think of the external line. If it's internal, then they wouldn't be able to do, they wouldn't do that. They don't need to transfer calls and such, so... I don't know. I am having like a brain fart over here, so, okay. Let me observe this. Let's see what kind of conclusions we can get out of this after our discussion with the man from 19 years ago. From the very beginning, Genji had understood that she wouldn't want Kraus hearing about this phone call. That was why he had told Nazi covertly. Nazi ordered that he transfer the call, told Kraus that she would turn in for the night, and left at a quick pace. She returned to her room and locked the door. And there's nothing peculiar about that. In those Shirumiya family, hallways are like public roads. And there's no special meaning in locking the door when you enter your own room. And this is what she told herself. Then, as though I've been waiting for her, the telephone rang. Genji must have transferred a call. She took a deep breath, readied herself, and picked up the receiver. Lucius. Again, yeah, it started with silence. She realized that the person at the other end was trying to keep her in suspense and make her feel uncomfortable. And she got angry. Again, that unpleasant voice. わたくしを愚弄する気ですか。要件を追いなさい。母さんと遊びたい。は、は、何を言っているんですか、あなたは。わたくしはあなたとなど遊びたくありません。親族会議で疲れたのか。持病の頭痛がだいぶ辛いん
this one would no doubt have done the same thing, no matter which season I'd said I liked. What is he after? What's so fun about making me uncomfortable like this? Nazi's room. There was a beautiful antique clock with an intricate design. Klaus had bought it for her as birthday present long ago. And the tone of the man's voice suddenly went low, turning into a threat. It indicated clear displeasure. Outwardly, this man had a calm manner of speaking, but on the inside, things were completely different. If she angered this man even the slightest bit further, he would surely show his true nature right away. あんたに電話をしてるうちが離れた。あんたが Once again, the man threatened me in a low voice, as though warning me never to talk back to him again. My head was filled with the pain from my headache, and the sound of my beating heart, and the roar of the sea. I couldn't disobey him anymore. As the man had ordered, I lifted up the antique clock. And there lay something that resembled a single playing card. Oh? Perhaps it was the warranty for the clock? Thinking this, she took it and turned it over. Natsuki had never had anything so hateful said to her in her entire life. So she suspected many times that she must be having some sort of bad dream. However, this definitely wasn't a dream. 
なたはまさかこの島にいるのですかうん約束しただろう金属会議には出るって不可能ですこの台風では来られるわけもありません台風になる前から来てれば問題はないよそれに台風の最中であってもエリカとかいう来客があったはずだ Her blood froze. Fururu Erika had been brought here by coincidence. If he knew that name, he would have to be very close by. She screamed. Nati crushed the card she had found under the clock into a little ball. It had a pattern on it like a tarot card, along with one single word Autumn. to think about it a little bit more on surface level this conversation um, it does bring up the idea that our corporate well not specifically our corporate but the man from 19 years ago is definitely one of the humans they know about Nazi's clock and, and such they would know Nazi's favorite season and such. Which can be Shannon or Kanon. Hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to think about it. The large clock in the hall was right in the middle of striking midnight. Wondering who the person who had now knocked twice was. The relatives in the dining hall stared at the door. 
Who is it? Rudolph told them to come in. But there was no answer. Until the end of that long tone marking the coming of midnight, which had come from the large clock in the hall shortly after the knock. They were unable to move in a silence. ガムね。だが、名乗らねえってのは薄気味悪いね。開けますか。開けなさい。おう。カナノレバック。ね、それ Hello there. Right behind the open door, on the floor of the hallway, lay the envelope. Hmm. This actually does remind me. It wasn't the uh, Beatrice who met Maria in the Rose Garden. While Ro while Maria was looking after Mr. Rose and such, it was Erica. So because of Erica, Beatrice couldn't give Maria the letter. Well, maybe, maybe now it is time for us to get the letter. Once again, the adults flew out into the corridor as well, but they could find no trace of anyone who might have knocked on the door. Barely an hour ago, Shannon and Kanon had come in to serve tea. At that time, everyone had seen that nothing lay in its spot. Someone came, knocked, left an envelope with the mark of the one-wigged eagle on it, and left. まさか、親方様でしょうか。考えられない話じゃないわ。この屋敷で誰と呼ばれて返事をしないのはお父様くらいだもの。ありえないわ。なら、どうしてお父様はどうどうと入ってこないの？そうやな。お父さんだったらノックなどせず、いきなり入ってくるやろな。今、この屋敷は戸締まりがされとるんやろ。ならここに手紙を置くことができるのはク
それから考えても遅くないはずだ何か入ってるんだなんだろうなウルフオープンデンオブロップデルロフィンデンオフォーダーレザーエネグリリングオブジェクトフェラウトニューアザーウィンオーはい。But given the fact that、uh, the that the ring was inside the letter to begin with, and it makes you question how did they manage to make the envelope sealed with wax to begin with. Unless the envelope was not sealed with wax, in which case, yeah, it's. it is possible. But if it was possible to. to. close the envelope with wax, with the symbol and such, then that would imply that. Maybe there is a second ring as such? Yeah, it is interesting. Deprika, じゃ、やっぱりこの手紙はお父様が。これ、差し出しに岩親父じゃねえぞ。もっと面白い。じゃ、誰からの手紙だってんだ。後ろ見分け、顧問錬金術師。The <笑> Now, don't show that one the part of the letter where that, that was read. He really did say that. Beatrice, what did he say? Let's read it. Congratulations! Batra Sama has been given his own name to the king of the king. The king is the king of the king. And the king of the king is the king. Okay, well, I guess so. Yeah, this is, this is different. So, I guess so. Yeah, 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 this is different. なんてこった親父が書斎から出てこねえもんだから森の魔女ベアトリーチが直接バトラを認めてくれたわけだ<笑>バトラ君この指輪はあなたが持つものこれは当主が身につけるべき特別な指輪ベアトリーチェが何者か知らないけれど彼女は一部始終を見届けあなたが真の後継ぎだと認めてこの指輪を送ったのよえいいんすかこんな重要な指輪をああいいんだ誇らしげに指にはめるといいいいか兄貴や夏日さんが外せと言っても絶対に外すんじゃねえぞ
and creepy smiles on their faces. All the dessert better to put the ring on his finger. He looked like things would get pretty nasty if he refused. So better reluctantly decide to put it on the middle finger of his left hand. The ring was heavy and stiff. At that moment, Klaus returned. Genji came back as well immediately afterwards. Oh, something happened indeed, Klaus. You better sit down. Immediately, Genji keenly spotted the thing that Bella had just put on his finger. From Krauss's questioning look, it was very difficult to imagine that he could have been the one who set the letter there. Furthermore, his expression quickly changed to one of shock. And the family conference took up this new topic. And the storm came once again. Oh boy. Does this mean that we're gonna have be having the continuation of the true family conference? Oh, oh I guess so. <laughs>